completely changed my hormonal health. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, I wanted to share some of my favorite habits that are honestly very simple, but they've changed my life. I'm gonna go over the habits that have made a huge difference in my life and in my health, and I hope that you can get some inspiration and motivation. I think the two things that really make a huge difference in your diet would be collagen and it would be bee pollen. If you have gut issues, the amino acids specifically in collagen are so nourishing to the gut barrier. Really think about it like the bricks that your body needs to rebuild and repair. That's what amino acids are. We use them to build things. We use them to make hormones, rebuild. Amino acids are structural. That's why our hair gets longer and our skin gets healthier because the structure is being supported and is actually actually getting the bricks that it needs to rebuild. And hopefully I don't have blueberry in my teeth. And then speaking of amino acids, guess what else has amino acids? The bee pollen. Bee pollen has free form amino acids, which is absolutely amazing. It's incredibly high in them. Also, it has B vitamins. A lot of women especially are not getting enough B vitamins, and that is a huge issue when it comes to periods, painful periods, just not a happy cycle in general. We, Our body, specifically our liver, needs B vitamins, guess what? To detoxify estrogen and just to ha run detoxification pathways anyway. I feel like that's a really big buzzword nowadays, like, detoxification. I've heard it thrown out there before that like your body just detoxifies on its own and no it doesn't. Your body needs nutrients to run detoxification pathways and if you don't have those nutrients those pathways are not going to run or they're not going to be running right. The tips and tricks are actually the fundamental. We can do all these healthy habits, exercise, workout, all the things but if we're trying to balance our hormones and we're not looking at what we're actually putting on our skin don't forget that your blood is the highway for your hormones and what we put on our skin gets directly absorbed into our bloodstream so we always want to use products that are going to be supportive to our hormones by not containing endocrine disruptors i think that every girl should have in her day-to-day -day habits and routine is a good body care routine that's not going to disrupt your hormones. A doctor that I really love that I follow, she was actually talking about her favorite skincare brand. And this doctor is like, she is the standard to me. She is a woman doctor that focuses on breast health specifically. Her standards for body care and skincare and products in general are so high. And when she said that she loved Osea, I was immediately sold. I use their whole collection. I'm obsessed with their cleansing body polish. Also contains AHAs, so it's not just you're getting the physical topical exfoliation of the actual polish itself, but the AHAs help with cell turnover. My legs have never been smoother, okay? And don't even get me started on the smell. And look at this, look who discovered my body wash, Bo. Mr. Bo is so obsessed with my Osea body wash. I was like, babe, this is like, that doesn't tell you something, okay? It's not just for the ladies. Just be warned that your man might fall in love with it too. He's like, this smells so good. I'm like, I, I know. This is my newest obsession, the Andaria Collagen Body Lotion. I hate body lotions that are greasy and sticky. I can't do it. This is the best non-greasy body lotion ever of all time. And their main ingredients in their skincare is the Andaria seaweed, which is so rich in so many different vitamins and minerals. If we think about it, seaweed, sea water, there is so so many minerals, no endocrine disruptors and nutrients for your skin. And this one, you actually can see a difference in your skin, in the firmness of your skin within four hours. Scientifically proven to visibly firm skin in four hours. And this one also has collagen and hyaluronic acid and it makes your skin so glowy and so soft. And speaking of glowy, my all time favorite one ever. This is like my ultimate stocking stuffer. Ugh, this is rich 
and not greasy. That is the best way I can describe it. It is lightweight, but it is so hydrating and it makes your skin so glowy. Look at the difference, okay? I did this arm. You can already see, look how glowy this arm is compared to this arm. This is like my favorite routine, my favorite habit for keeping my skin healthy, soft, glowy, and not disrupting my hormones. And the reward is the smell because it smells so good. Osea's Black Friday sale is so good too. Look what you're gonna get. You're going to get four free gifts. Look at this cute little travel set. You're gonna get the body wash. You're gonna get, look at this, the Hyaluronic Body Serum. This stuff is so good. You're also gonna get the body polish and the body oil. Look how cute even their packaging is. Four free gifts with your purchase of $125, but you're gonna get 10% off your order with the code. So I'm gonna leave it in the description box. I'll leave the link, I'll leave my code. You can shop their biggest sale of the year. If you're looking for a good gift for yourself or for somebody else, and you want to support your hormones and you want to love on your skin, there is no better brand. They are my absolute favorite and I am so excited for this sale. This is the year if you have not ever switched your body products 2025 and the end of 2024, this is, this is it. This is your sign switch to products that don't contain endocrine disruptors. Oh my gosh, it's the best smell. It's just the best smell ever. Oh, I'm so excited. Best sale of the year. Okay, my next habit is something that I've done recently and that is being aware and monitoring your luteal phase. Specifically pay attention to my luteal phase, to your luteal phase in how your body is responding to your workouts. So this is kind of like cycle syncing, the idea of cycle syncing when it comes to workouts, but really getting very nitty gritty with it. So if you don't track or chart your cycle, I think that every single woman, no matter what phase or anything like that in her life, that she should be tracking her cycle because your body communicates so much to you, how much stress you're under. If you have nutrient deficiencies, like your cycle really reveals so much. But specifically when it comes to my workouts, I have realized that I cannot, I love, I love a good workout. I love to sweat. I am a personal trainer, but I have realized that I cannot go too hard in my luteal phase. Otherwise my luteal phase shortens and it lowers progesterone. Having a shorter luteal phase, you're not, ha you're not making circulating as much progesterone. Progesterone is what helps us sleep. Progesterone is essential for a healthy pregnancy. And so really assessing your cycle to see if your workouts are working for you. Because a lot of the times, especially like me in the beginning of when when I first started training, I just used to think that like, if I worked out, that is, that's good. And that's the thing is that even this last cycle, I was feeling really good. I was doing infrared classes and weight training and I really upped my workouts just because I was feeling so good. And then my luteal phase got short, but I was aware of that because I tracked my cycle and I was able to scale back. And this month I've had a really good ovulation. I've had a really good spike. That is quite literally one of the ways that we can read if our training is too intense for our bodies. And here's the thing, give yourself grace because literally there are some women out there, they can run marathons they can do they can really push their bodies and their physical limits and that's the thing it's okay if that's not you for me i literally cannot do that we all have different emotional weights we all have different schedules we all have different genetics like everybody is so different so give yourself grace give yourself compassion to say i can't work out that intensely honestly let it be an invitation to let your workouts be really chill and relax and like a relaxing part of your day. That being said, let me show you my luteal phase workout. We are gonna do a nice light weight training routine, literally five pound weights and body weights. And I probably only go for like 15, 20 minutes. feel more at peace, be more calm, go for a walk. Walk, walk, walk. Your sleep will change, your mood will change, your life will change. Walking is 
the best habit is the habit. The habit of habits. are to watch the sunset because the near infrared light helps your body produce melatonin so that you sleep better as well so bonus points if you can do your walk at sunset and then the other habit is grounding this is something that i kind of lost touch with for a while for uh, lack of my uh my punny joke grounding is an amazing amazing way to also lower inflammation it really helps your mitochondria and you know i always say healthy cells make healthy tissues make healthy organs, make healthy organ systems. By improving your mitochondrial health, you're improving your cellular health. And one of the best ways to do that is by grounding. Take your shoes off, get your feet in the sand, get your feet on the grass, get your feet in the earth. Where you walk when the blinds put down we moved to the backyard because we were in direct sunlight. Thank you so much. I genuinely believe that one of the best habits that you can do every single day of your life is get morning sunlight, preferably before 9 a.m. It doesn't matter rain, wind, sunshine. It doesn't matter being outside and exposed to the light, even if you can't see it, is so powerful for your circadian rhythm, for your digestion, to produce certain hormones, for progesterone, for thyroid function, for literally, the, the list goes on and on and on, but if there's one habit that you do from this video, lately I've been liking my front porch, but I love to go for a morning beach walk. Morning sunlight will change your life. It's foundational for hormone health. If it's hard for you to get out in the morning light, maybe you have to be at work at a certain time or something like that, just simply roll down your window in your car and get that morning light on your face. That is a game changer, is having your window rolled down and actually just getting the light in. This habit alone will change your life. My next tip is to get enough potassium every single day of your life. Getting 4,700 milligrams of potassium every single day completely transformed my hormonal health, specifically my progesterone production. Our neurons require potassium to fire off, and specifically the neurons in the hypothalamus are responsible for progesterone production. When I upped my potassium, I single-handedly saw such a massive difference in my production. It's really cool because the progesterone punch that included in well and I've shared the recipe here many many times I absolutely love hearing your stories and how it's helped you and how it's helped with cervical mucus and just having better periods and just better ovulations and better everything because our body requires minerals and specifically when we're under a lot of stress Guess what happens? We burn through and use up those minerals. This is actually very supportive to feeling calm. Specifically, sodium helps to lower adrenaline. I talked about that in my last video, but this has single-handedly changed so many of your lives as well, just getting enough sodium. Adrenaline is the thing that makes our heart go really fast, puts us into fight or flight mode. We're ready to, we're ready to run, basically, and we want to be in rest and digest, and sodium actually helps to put our body in that rest and digest mode by lowering adrenaline so every single day I make my progesterone punch or my hydration drink uh, the progesterone punch includes vitamin C so I do my grapefruit element pack another easy way to get enough potassium is cream of tartar just a little tiny bit of cream of tartar you just put like literally the smallest amount ever it's very rich in potassium and then as well as you could do coconut water itself or coconut water powder if that's easier for you this is such a simple thing because it's shelf stable obviously you can just keep it in your pantry and so I just add in like a tablespoon of that and then I also put in my acerola cherry which is very rich in vitamin c as a whole food version and now you have vitamin c you have potassium I think vitamin c I would put that as another habit that's changed my life there's been a study that showed 750 milligrams of vitamin c increases progesterone massively and so I've been doing vitamin c and my favorite way to do it is whole food let me grab it so this is the one that I use. This is just an Osceola cherry powder. I just take like a teaspoon of this and 
and I add this directly into my progesterone punch and this is delicious. Seriously, I would say if there was one thing that I should have done literally at the beginning of my health and fitness journey, it's focus on getting enough potassium because that is a critical nutrient that most people are not consuming enough of. I literally had like a one progesterone and now I'm at like a nine in the nine range, which is insane. I was never even able to get to that number being on progesterone that was prescribed. So cheers to healthy hormones from our potassium and our vitamin C. Such a simple habit, but it definitely is like, it takes effort to hit that goal, but genuinely completely changed my life and completely changed my hormonal health. Okay, it's a couple days later because I thought of a couple more tips. The concept of not having naked water, I think it just kind of sticks in your brain, just like water all by itself. I like to try to always add something into my water, whether it's like lemon or the coconut powder or a little splash of even coconut water, lime juice, anything, something, because you're adding minerals, you're adding vitamin C, you're adding nutrients, a little pinch of salt into your water. I love to add an element into my water, coconut water. I like to do a little splash of these in my water. These are really good. I love to add these into the water as well. Anything Thing where you're just spruce up your water a little bit because you're gonna get so many more nutrients. Whatever goals you have, everything comes down to the cell having nutrients and protection from things that can steal the nutrients, but it really comes down to nutrients. And that to say, make sure you drink enough water in general because our blood is made of mostly water. And if we don't drink enough water, our glucose can stay really high in the blood and that causes a lot of hormone problems. So super easy little tip, but genuinely very life-changing because I always used to drink, I always used to drink plain water and I would chug water, actually. I would chug, chug, chug water, and I would always have headaches. Like I was just flushing out all of my minerals. That is a habit that I changed years ago, and it's made the biggest difference in my health. Another one is protein, and let me specifically show you my easiest ways to get enough protein. I feel like the ultimate protein hack is bone broth. It's so easy to get enough protein. Making sure I'm getting 100 grams of protein every single day, completely transformed, changed my life change my life, transform my hormone health. I look back at all the years I was having major hormone problems and out of all the help that I saw and all the doctors that I went to, nobody ever asked about my protein intake, which is so wild. Y'all need protein, but ladies, especially, it is so important for a healthy menstrual cycle. Our liver needs protein and amino acids for to perform detoxification pathways. Any bone broth, this one's from Trader Joe's, so easy. I'm literally gonna heat this whole thing up. Other favorite way to get protein is simply protein, but I'm talking non like meal sources. I think getting enough protein at meals is, is the key, but if you're struggling to get enough protein, bone broth, and then also this is my favorite protein powder ever. Hands down the best protein powder I've ever had. The obsession is real, okay? Salted caramel is a 10 out of 10. This reminds, it's very nostalgic to me. It reminds me of like the strawberry milk as a child that I would drink. Here is our bone broth. Mm. That's perfect. Very last tips that have truly changed my life are two things that I do before I go to bed every night. And that is the first one is journal. I usually like to do a kind of a combination of journaling out my day, journaling out my feelings, but kind of do it in a prayer form. I guess it's just like my conversation with God, but like in a written form. And then the second thing that I do every night, this is it's funny because I got out of this habit and then recently when I got back into it, I was like, why did I ever stop doing this? And that is writing out your to-do list for the next day, every single thing on your to-do list. Like I'm talking like even your little habits, like you can put make your bed, you can put literally anything. There was even a study about this, like writing out your to-do list the next day and physically writing it. I think there was a study about it, but it really actually helps you to relax and go to sleep and be able to fall asleep and kind of turn off your brain. Such a great habit. And my favorite planners for years have been the Rifle Paper Co. I just love that there's so much space. Not like if I'm like, I need to get in a better habit of, you know, if I was forgetting my magnesium spray or something like that, I would write it down. I would write it down. I would write down every single thing. So if you're trying to make a new habit, like 10K a day, magnesium spray, no naked water, whatever it is. It very much has been a life-changing habit for me. That's actually one of my favorite ways to stay disciplined is to have it written down. And then there's something about crossing it off and checking it off. I like to physically put an X through and then I take a highlighter and highlight through it. It's just what I like to do. And that's very motivating for me. And that's a really, that is genuinely one of my favorite ways to stay disciplined because I know it's written out. There it is. I have to do it. I have to get it done. These are my life-changing habits. Very small, but very mighty. And honestly, I 
I do believe the best way to change and make a change in your life is by doing one thing at a time. Like I said in one of my last videos, it's not the last swing of the ax that makes the tree fall. It's all the swings that came before that. And that is how change happens in our life. It's just the daily showing up and doing it. I really believe the most important thing is that small steps are what gets us to our goals. I love you so much. Click thumbs up if you did like this video and don't forget link in the top of the description box for to shop the Osea sale. If you leave a comment below too, I'm gonna enter you into a little comment giveaway that I'm doing, a sneaky little comment giveaway. I kind of like these, it feels fun. It feels like I'm giving you a Christmas present. I do usually like to show you what I'm getting you, but there's something mysteriously fun about it. So leave any comment and you'll be entered to win. But I love you so much. I will see you in my next video, bye.